Tooth decay, also known as cavities, can be treated several different ways. Before they can be treated, it needs to be determined the extent of the tooth decay and as well as the severity. When we talk about the extent of the decay, what we're looking at is how large the cavity is. If the cavity is 10 to 20 percent of the tooth, it usually can be fixed very easily with a tooth colored filling. However, if the extent is 80 to 90 percent of the tooth where we find that there's not much tooth left to begin with, then that tooth decay may be just discarded and the tooth be eliminated, again, based on how much cavity there is. There has to be a certain amount of tooth structure left in order to be able to fix it. And we find that typically when uh, the tooth decay approaches 80, 90 percent of the tooth, typically find it becomes much more difficult and a lot less predictable in terms of fixing the tooth. Now, that was talking about the extent, and the, the other one is obviously the severity of it. And when we talk about the severity, we're referring to where does it sit in relation to the nerve. We know that as tooth decay or cavities get closer to the nerve, we start to develop more symptoms, such as cold sensitivity, biting sensitivity, throbby pain that comes and goes. And when the tooth decay gets closer to the nerve, it kind of changes the way we treat the tooth. What may have been something small as like a filling, can evolve or change into a root canal where let's just say 50 percent of the tooth is still left there but the nerve is exposed while the extent of the damage isn't great the severity is because the cavity got into the nerve and typically that requires something more dramatic than a filling such as a root canal and a procedure known as a crown which is something that goes over top of the tooth to further protect it so really when we look at tooth decay the way it's treated we have to look at the extent of it, again, to see how large it is, how much of the tooth it is broken down, but also the severity, meaning how far it is into the nerve or whether or not it's breached the nerve or not. Those are the two most important factors for determining how we treat tooth decay. But the treatments can range anywhere from something as simple as a tooth filling to as complicated as, as a root canal and crown or something also simple as, as an extraction.